Welcome to another edition of Fight News Now Extra. I'm your host, John Pollock, and in just a few minutes, John Ramdeen and Robin Black will join me as we try to make sense out of what is making news. Today, we're chatting another fighter leaving the game, a court case is delayed, and what the hell happened at the UFC 158 weigh-ins? We'll try and find out. The camp of Nick Diaz is threatening to sue the Quebec Commission over how they handled the weigh-in procedure prior to UFC 158. In a video that surfaced online, UFC executive Michael Mersch is seen telling Diaz and camp that not only will Diaz and St. Pierre have an extra hour for weigh-ins, but that in Quebec, they don't count decimals, and therefore either could have been 170.9 pounds, and it rounds down to 170. Former TKO promoter Stefan Patry has called out the Quebec Commission, stating that is untrue in his dealings over the years, with Carlos Condit telling MMAfighting.com that he was never told of that fact last November at UFC 154. 26-year-old UFC heavyweight Christian Moorcraft has announced that he is leaving the sport to take care of other matters and also listing all of the issues fighters tend to have at the end of their careers with limited options outside of the sport. Moorcraft debuted for the UFC in August of 2010 and has gone 1-3 with his lone win coming against Sean McCorkle two years ago. And UFC featherweight Jeremy Stevens is scheduled to have his jury trial for assault charges commence on July the 8th, stemming from an alleged incident at a bar in Des Moines, Iowa that led to a bizarre arrest coming the day he was to fight last October in Minneapolis, and it was touch and go all night if he would be bailed out of jail or not, and ultimately did not fight that evening. Prior to his trial, Stevens will be fighting on the UFC 160 undercard in his featherweight debut against Estevan Payan on May the 25th. Joined by John Ramdeen and Robin Black, so many different topics to discuss. Do you want to do you want to dip your toe into this weigh-in controversy? Yeah, I mean, for number one, this has nothing to do with George St. Pierre. He went out, did his job. Nick Diaz. Hey, I don't blame him. Look, it's the most money he's ever made in his entire career. I'm sure he wants yeah. a second payday, just like that. Give it to his lawyers. His lawyers will do some things and possibly uh, either get a rematch or sue the commission and make a couple of bucks. No? More likely some lawyers will make a couple of bucks. They'll argue over a bunch of nonsense for a while and nothing will come of it. So you're saying that Nick Diaz is going to lose more money yeah. that to, to the uh, IRS and now to lawyers. It sounds like it, man. It's like it's one of those things, too. Is it worth it? Like BJ Penn came out and said he was greased and his mom came out and said he was greased. And hey, man, maybe he was greased. I don't know. But it's, it turned out that you didn't win that case because because when, when people beat you, when people are able to go in and beat you soundly, in your mind you need to find excuses. Most people find them, deal with them, and move on. Some guys, they just can't, they can't accept that. But I that. think the Las Vegas Commission instituted the BJ Penn rule. Did they not since that George St. Pierre thing where, you know, the, the only one of your corner guys is allowed in the cage? So, you know, maybe it did do some good. Hey, maybe. I mean, maybe. Always pays to argue, it Yeah. Seems. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Nick Diaz, they'll be the Nick Diaz rule, but who knows what that'll be. <laughs> yeah, I think that, the, you know, it's so easy to just look, oh, this is corrupt. Maybe this was a case of broken telephone yeah. and maybe information traveling. Exactly. I mean, obviously, there's someone to blame here for this, this issue occurring here, and people are now coming out saying this, they've never heard of this decimal issue not being a factor yeah, in the I mean, past. But, and, you and know, some commission guy could have been like, hey, man, don't worry about it. You know, he's just chilled out. He's not a very, not one of the, the top guys there, taking his job a little less seriously than he should. Let me tell you a story. I was fighting in Edmonton one time, and uh, I went out and fought this guy, and I, I ended up getting guillotined very quickly. It was a t terrible performance. And afterwards, I found out that his father was in my change room. His father worked for the commission, and he was in my change room watching me get taped up, watching me warm up. This guy could have go gone and told his kid, hey, this is what he's going to do. But you know what I did? I went you and sued said, the commission. I got sued rematch. the commission. No, I went and said, you know what? Regardless of if that guy was there, this kid was better than me, and he choked me in front of all these people, and I lost. And that's how it works. It also can come down to interpret. <laughs> that's very shady. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was shady, but it had no bearing. He's that, in there the whole time, and, his, and the topic of, hey, you're going to be fighting my kid in a couple hours dad, doesn't come up. But show me your sprawl. His technique. dad was standing right here while I trained Unreal. and warmed up and talked to my coaches and everything. But ultimately, it had no effect. The guy was better than me, and he choked me out. It also comes down to there's no real playbook for mixed martial arts. We're, going, we're making things up as we go along, and it could be simply the fact that it's just interpretation. You have to come in under 171 pounds. 
Well, under 171 no. pounds is 170.9. For a title fight, it's got to be 170. I think the rule is it is 170. If you look in the books at the Quebec, Quebec Commission, I'm sure it is 170. I'm sure some guy went rogue, and maybe he went rogue because he's, you know, he likes George. I don't know, but I don't think it was a commission thing. And I think, you know, it's irrelevant. And besides, like you said, if you want to get mad at the commission, get mad at the commission. But it's nothing to do with the UFC, and it's nothing to do with your opponent. This is not the first time either. I mean, we go back to that very first Toronto show. You UFC 129, uh, Mark Hominick got on the scales and was, you know, less than a pound over, but they were like, they just waved it down to, to 145, and uh, you're good to go. Yeah, again, there's no playbook. So guys are just kind of going with what they don't know because they they have no reference. Uh, I mean, it was the first time it was in Toronto, and uh, they obviously didn't want the show to be a disaster, especially with your hometown guy. And uh, you want to believe that that wouldn't have influence, but uh, you know, I have a feeling stuff like that does uh, play into the factor. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm moving with the idea that this is wrong now that you brought up a second example. You know, you start to think about it. I'm going Bill Clinton a little bit on this because it's like, you know, you cannot be point one over. It's a title fight. You have to be on. Since the beginning of time in a title fight, you must be on the amount. And if this happened in Toronto and this happened in Montreal, for whatever reason, it's not okay. Fighters must make weight. It's unacceptable on any level. And maybe Diaz has a point. I don't think he's going to win it. I don't think it's relevant. I don't think it's going to get him a second title shot, but he has a point. I, I think he has absolute grounds to complain about this and the, and the fact that he's told about this just a very short time before the weigh-ins. Uh, uh, very shady nature to it. I think that there, someone clearly dropped the ball in this case. How much corruption you want to put attached to this, I think that's a bit of speculation. Yeah, Co Quebec Commission and corruption? Come on, I don't think that exists. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> but you know what? There's a difference between corruption and people just getting too lax. And commission's jobs is to protect the safety of the fighter and to protect the integrity of the sport. And if they get too relaxed in their assignment and their job, Bad shit happens, and we can't have that. You know what John Randine defers to when it comes to these debates? Do what they did in Pride. That's right. They never had That's problems That's in Pride. Diaz was there even weigh-ins in Pride? <laughs> Show up if <laughs> weigh-ins. Yeah, there was yeah. a... Drug anyway. testing. <laughs> All allegedly. And coming up next, we've got more of Fight News Now Extra, allegedly.